Chapter 8, The Woodland Snare. Having been driven back, the Empire retreated from Varius, and Squad 7 began its return to the capital of Randgreece. I'm worried, boss. The scouts were due back a long time ago. I haven't heard a thing. Welkin. We should look. The enemy could be closer than we think. Right. Looks like we got separated when that blast threw us down here. Oh. Alicia, there are probably still Imperials camped out up there. It's just a matter of time until they spot us here. We should move as soon as we can. Are you hurt anywhere? Do you think you can walk? I think I'm fine. Ah! Scratch that. I think my ankle sprained, actually. But I should be okay. It's not too bad to walk on. Sorry, I know it hurts, but you've got to tough it out for now. Of course. Great. Now, let's try to sneak out of this mess before we're spotted. Alright, this battle is very annoying. Alicia, here's a map of the area. Looks like they've got us surrounded. All right. Ready to start moving? Let's sneak out of their perimeter without being spotted. No option to back out either. Wow, it's really gotten dark. The lack of light means it's harder to see enemies in the distance, so watch out. Ow! Is your ankle gonna make it? Sorry, I don't know how much I can run like this. That's all right. You set the pace and I'll follow. trick is to not walk into those circles. Is that sound a mortar? Have they spotted us? No, their aim is too far off. They're probably trying to scare us out with it. If we're careful, we can predict where they'll fire and steer clear of the target area. My turn, okay? Alright, in case the cutscene wasn't clear... Alicia's the one you're going to want to be moving first because she sets the pace. And the pace is extremely slow. You do not want to step on mines. Enemy unit spotted. They're painful. Hey, Welkin. What's that light? Oh, that's a luciferant. It's bioluminescent. The same sort of thing as a firefly. Hey, wait. The luciferant feeds mostly on manure. 
There could be an animal trail here. With luck, it might let us sneak past without the enemy spotting us. All right, where's the head? There you go. And another one by the dust. All right, so the goal is to at least move Alicia up to the blue plant before the turn ends. If you skip it, you have uh, just missed out. Here we go. These leaves. Great. This is Ponisera. What's up, Welkin? It's a wild herb that works well on bruises. Just have to grind the stem and leaves down. Alicia, let me put this on your ankle. It... it kind of stings. But I think it hurts a little less now. Thank you, Welkin. Okay, let's push on ahead. We might find more Ponisera growing nearby. And now she has more movement capability for next turn. If you don't do that, you're uh, probably going to take a while. Searchlights. This is bad news. What do you figure will happen if they see us? They'll radio our location to the mortars and we'll see them land a whole lot closer. Not high on my list of good things. We better keep our heads down out here. And then take another turn, controlling Alicia only. Ideally, you do not want to be standing in that particular section. Moving out. Don't step on the mine. And before the searchlight kicks in again, select her again. My turn, okay? And walk forward as quickly as possible. Ah, dang it. Enemy unit spotted. Ah, dang it. Alright, took him out at least. What? My 
their wounds are healing. Hmm. Yeah, that's what got unlocked with that last report. All right, and then the last one should let me get up Not there at okay. least. Okay, phase over. Welkin is safely out of mortar range. One more with you. Probably should have just ended turn and had an extra go. action point for this one. Here's some more Ponisera. Let's get this on that ankle. All right. Oh, thanks. It hurts even less now. That's good, but still, don't push yourself. And then there's one more. Hostile sighted! Oh, gotta love nature. Hi, the immortal is the enemy ace. Yes. Moving out. And regular scout. Don't even think of dodging. Yeah. Ah, dang it. Tree hitboxes. Fireflies indicate that there's a trail over here. And there's the plant. Smell of fresh soil. Just barely not enough. <sighs> Fortunately, it's just the fence down. So now gotta spend an entire medal on her Not going sure. like okay. three steps so that she's in range of this thing. It might have been in range, but 
if you uh, Here we go. get there with Welkin and she's not, then you have to spend the point for Welkin and the point for Alicia, and then a point for Alicia again, or for Welkin again. Ooh, there's some more Ponisera again. Ugh, the pain's mostly gone now. Thanks again. I'm just glad it's working. So, Welkin, um, is that stuff edible? Why? Are you hungry? Huh? No, I'm just... I wondered if I could use it in a new bread recipe. Oh, I see. Well, the flowers have a sweet nectar to them, so it could be good. Ah, you tease me. We're sneaking around the woods and you're thinking of baking bread. I don't want to hear it, nature boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Well, let's move on. Whoop. So, that path is mined. That path has a searchlight, but the northern path over here doesn't have mines in the grass. I don't think there's enough uh, command points to get all the way to that area. My turn, okay? She might be able to get to the rock. Probably not, though. But she can probably get to outside of the range of the whatchamacallit there. Drop down here, end action, and next turn. Five turns. And one metal left to spare. Okay, this is probably a safe distance. I wonder if Alicia's almost here. My turn, okay? You can get to the to the objective with either of them in either order. Should be safe here at least for a little while. Let's look for a spot where we can rest. Right. It's too dark to cover much ground even if we tried. Ish. Wasted some time somewhere. way out here. Not that I'm complaining or anything. How's your ankle holding up? Sorry to make you walk so far on it. No, it's not too bad. Don't worry. That's good. Still, let's get an herbal compress on it just in case. It just figures you'd know about herbs. This here is called aloe severa. It's a succulent in the lily family. There's a jelly substance inside its leaves that helps combat swelling. Great for sunburns. <laughs> I should start calling you Dr. Nature. Very well, Doc. I entrust my ankle's care to you. All right, that should do it. How's it feel? A little weird? No, it's nice and cool. Thanks, Doc. 
I'm just glad we found something to help you. The pain should ease with time, too. So, Welkin, what got you interested in nature to start with? Well, I don't know. I guess it had a lot to do with my dad's influence. General Gunther's? Yeah. Whenever he came home, we'd take a trip collecting bugs in the mountains or swimming. Somewhere along the way, going on those trips turned into a love of nature for me, too. The general out collecting bugs? That's unexpected. Maybe so. I guess other people see him as a big, stoic military hero. He had his own share of worries, though. Yeah? My mom died as a casualty of the First European War. I don't think Dad ever got over the fact that he couldn't protect her. But everybody else was always praising him for being a great hero. The war won him respect and adulation, but it also cost him the love of his life. I think that always weighed on him. That question of what he fought the war for. I had no idea. But when he was out in the woods playing with me, he was always so bright and happy. Maybe I fell in love with nature because it always put the smile back on my dad's face. Oh, Welkin. Alicia, someone's coming. Freeze! Uh, Woken, what? He's badly wounded. I'm surprised he can even walk. Help me! Welkin, do something! Well? It's no use. The wound's way too deep. It hurts. It's so dark. Oh, God, Mother! Mother! It's okay. Don't be afraid. Mother's right here. Everything's fine. See? Yes. It's... You find the boss and Alicia? No, still nothing. Isara, how about you quit messing around and help us look? The Edelweiss still requires maintenance. Your own brother's gone missing here, and you'd rather be doing maintenance work than look? It's because he's missing that I'm doing this. We have no idea when he'll be back, but... ...making sure the Edelweiss is ready for him is the best thing I can do for him now. <sighs> Not like I care either way. I hear what you're saying, kid. Just be sure you rest up while you can. You've been working since first thing this morning. You're Squad 7's only tank pilot. If you pass out on us... We're all toe up, you hear me? Getting a good night's rest is another thing you can do for your brother right now. I understand. Thank you for your advice, Largo. Sure. Welcome. 
I... I couldn't do anything for that poor man. He was lying there asking me for help, but all I could do was watch him die. That's not true. You helped him in a way only you could, Alicia. The look on his face when he passed on wasn't one of pain. No, I guess you're right. Thank you, Logan. I've always just thought of the Imperials as monsters out to kill Gallians. But they're just as human as we are, huh? With families of their own to fight for. Yeah, they are. It's like the war started and we all forgot that. It's so simple, but... If we weren't at war, he might be back at home with his family now. <sighs> hey, Welkin. Did I ever tell you I don't have one? A family, I mean. I grew up in an orphanage. I don't even know my parents' names. No, you didn't. But maybe I'm actually lucky, huh? If you... If you never have a family in the first place, you can't ever lose them. I guess being all alone has its perks. <laughs> Don't even joke about it. You know you're not alone. You've got me and East, everybody in Squad 7. We're all a family now, Alicia. Squad 7? A family? <laughs> sure. I'm the dad, you're the mom. Rosie and Isara are like daughters. And Largo is the grandpa. Come on, can't you see it? <laughs> if he heard that, you know Largo would kick your butt. Sure, we have our share of fights, but they say that best friends fight the most, right? Yeah. So don't go saying you're all on your own. You hear me? All right, welcome. Helmet and rifle? They belong to Fritz, sir. Are you two the ones who laid him to rest? Yes. There are signs of medical treatment inside the cabin, sir. Why then? Explain to me the reasons you had to save his life. He was delirious. He was crying out for his mother. We may be enemies in this war, but we all have families waiting for us at home. As a human being, I couldn't just sit by and watch a man in pain without trying to do something. We always called him a mama's boy, sir. And now... Sorry, Fritz. I wish we could have been there for you. And you, son, do you have a family? Yes. I have a younger sister. And I have another sort of family as well. I have the soldiers of my squad. I see. I have a wife and daughter back at home. I feel the same as you. My men are like a second family to me. Thank you. Thank you for honoring Fritz as you did. I'm sure his mother will appreciate it. I suppose we'll meet again on the battlefield. I'm sorry for that. You both seem like good people. For now, so long. Well, I guess we should hurry back and join the squad. You're right. Anyway, now for indiscriminate murder. The gunshots from before came from around here. The rest of the squad may still be in combat close by.
All right, that should be good. First, we've got to meet back up with the squad. Ready to go, Alicia? So the main thing for turns one and two are getting Welkin back to the Alicia, tank. How's that ankle doing? Just fine. I'm a okay here. I saw some black smoke in the distance. That could be the other sevens. But black smoke would mean they could be engaging the enemy. Right. There could be enemies near us too. Let's get back to the others ASAP. Gonna have to move them too. Ready to go. Alicia doesn't matter in the slightest. That was probably a mistake. Yes. You're doing well. Just keep it up. Oh. Oop. Ow. Pay attention to the ground. Mines are painful. Remember to stay cool. Whoop. That was unfortunate. Sorry, everyone. I don't think I can. <sighs> Pro tip, don't step on mines. They hurt. Yeah, 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 yeah. Save. Faster to reload a save than it is to sit through a cutscene. Oop. Avoid the mine. Enemy sighted. Hmm. And cover. Take out the command unit. Slash ace. Yes. And then run down this path. Yeah, shock troopers don't matter if uh, you're nowhere near them. Ready to go. <sighs> Gotta love nature. Mine, mine. Don't let them near the camp. Mine. And mine. One more action point should get me to the tank. On the other hand, I could simply take out as many things as possible before that. I'll do my very best. Hiding won't save you. Oop, dang it. Attack down. Been waiting here. Grab the Largo here. Run him down this way. Got the tank. All right. Roger. Take 
this guy out. Crouch down. Alright, now if any of those guys move, they're in shock trooper range. Might as well move another shock trooper up as well. the exact same spot. We could use some backup. Took both of them out. Yeah, Jack. Man down. Everybody, be careful. Change imps. Occupy base. I'm invisible. And perfect. Might as well try running Largo down there. Let's see, that takes two shots. Yeah, that's probably good. I'll just finish it off next round. Whoops. There's one Lancer down. Dang. Everybody, sorry to worry you. We. Oh, good. Are you hurt at all? No, we're fine. What's your status here? We were unable to break through the enemy line without you to lead the Edelweiss. 
Now that you're back, we'll launch a tank offensive on your command. All right, good. Squad 7, commence the attack. Entering combat. Tank. Straightforward. Hostile sighted. Enemy sighted. That out. Step two. Go this way. Bust down the wall. this guy directly in the face. And now the base is completely open for the scout to come down and take it. I'm on. Ah, dang it. Hit attack down. You got it. I can dodge bullets, no problem. Ah, this is great. Take this. Rest in peace. Man down. Everybody be careful. All right, all these guys don't have intercepts because they're lancer slash uh, sniper units. Leave that base completely undefended. Oop. And just barely don't have enough movement to get there. Good thing I have another point. I can dodge bullets, no problem. Operation complete. We took their base. Two turns. Lieutenant Gunther reporting for duty. We really missed you, boss. Lieutenant, that is. Isara, aren't you going to welcome your brother back home? <laughs> you was worried about him, weren't you? Welcome back, Wilkes. I'm glad you're all right. Thanks. So am I. Largo? And Rosie? Thank you for looking for my brother. I'm in your debt. <laughs> Having some dark hair thank me. Well, it's weird. Good to see him in one piece, though. You gotta admit that, right? Well, it was an adventure, all right. Oh, I thought you were talking to the pig. Squad 7 was like your second family. It made me feel... I felt really happy. So... Thanks for that. Welcome. Mm -hmm. 
Chapter 9, A Midsummer Incident. And this is the episode that adds uh, reports. But, or, sorry, decorations. Alright, no reports between those two. So, I'll do this one next time. <laughs>